Yo, what's up everyone? Kevin here. Today I'm in the back country near Lake Tahoe and in this video we're building two kickers into a natural half pipe. So I met Riley with my friends Yannick and David Jones and our goal is to build some nice kickers and have the landing go right into this natural half pipe and we have some good snow, blue skies, so it should be a really fun day. I'm gonna take a picture on the phone and then draw what, where the jump should be so you get a better idea of what I'm thinking about. We use that whole side right there as a hip so we can pretty much go as fast as we want. Okay. Kind of off of, you see how it kind of like comes out a little bit here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right Ooh. off of that. Ooh. So you can go as far as you want into the hip landing and then up there, we'll have a jump going through the trees and yeah. then you can land here. So you can hit that, come down here, yep. come back up here and then hit that. Oh, nice. Oh, is there going to be like kind of like a little gap as well? Yeah, well it has to be, yeah. I think so. Because that's the best landing right there. So if we build the jump a little further up, yeah, and then we can hit it like to the best landing. Yeah. David, you want to use the big shovel or the little shovel? Uh, uh. Yeah. Let's ride. <laughs> David, what's the anatomy of this jump? What are we looking at? Um, well, the lift's gonna be like kind of in the middle of this pile. Yep. And then, yeah, we're just kind of building up the side a little more so it has all the support it needs. Because we don't have like water or like salt or anything. So we what? just have to make sure everything's really supported. What's the biggest mistake we want to avoid on this kicker? Um, not packing it in. Because yeah. if we do that, we're just gonna go straight through it. Pack it in, make it lippy. We don't want it to be too poppy because we don't want the run in to be like. We don't want it to be like that when we hit it. No. We want it to be like big and nice smooth. And smooth, yeah. Oh, the boom is gone. It was like out there. It was like <laughs> that was like a cartoon. Dude, boom, man. It was got me. Man, you guys should have seen that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming together. It's looking good. Less snow, more chunks. Yeah, that's the chunk we want. So we're gonna take a run in from those trees up there and down through this. Papa! Over Yanni's head. Where does this jump send us, David? The landing's right there, you kind of see. If you go off almost the right side of the tree, yeah. like this bush. Oh yeah. Or like the middle slightly to the right, then you'll get the right landing. Honestly, you can go anywhere, you can go that way. Or if you want, you can go really big, which is what I want to do. Ooh. And kind of go like the trajectory of going over that little bit bush right there. Or like in between those two. How far do you think that is, like six meters? I mean, that's like 20 feet. Like on a park jump, that's like a decent sized jump. It is. Yeah. Speed. Ooh. This is what it takes. Yeah, squat. Oh, Lift up with those, use oh, your legs. Snap. Yeah. Yo. Where'd this go? We're with our own horse. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yannick's ancestors were shot put athletes. It's coming back to me now. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on Jakey. I'll see you guys in 40 minutes. Now I'm just gonna side slip the run into the jump because if we hit it as it is right now, since I wanna be going like really fast, like it's gonna be super bucky and it's, it just has to be smooth. So then it's not scary. 
or every like homemade like backcountry jumps always like real bumpy on the run in unless you're like a pro and you have heaps you have a big budget but that ain't us <laughs> Jakey, you wanna go snowboarding, boy? Back up there, yeah, up in the mountain. They do so you can see the takeoff. <laughs> We've been up here for nearly four hours. We've built two jumps, this is one of them, and it goes into the hip down here. This one you can kind of go as far as you want, that one you have to clear it. Just gonna have to go as fast as we can. Uh, yeah, Kevin just went down to check on his dog. There he is. <laughs> there was a moment where we thought we lost him, but he's back. All right, we have the jumps built. David is hiking up. Yannick is posting up over there to get a shot. We've got the other kicker down below, and hopefully we get some blue skies to bring this all together. Yannick, woo! Woo! Holy, that was smooth. Man, I thought David was gonna come through and just do something small, but he sent it. Oh no, now I gotta go. He freaking sent it. <laughs> okay, drop. When I saw you dropping in, I was like, damn, he's coming with some speed. Yeah. I feel like, how was the landing? Because the landing looked like you just like landed and then heel turn or toe turned and then it was smooth. That's what I was planning on doing. <laughs> yeah. I think with these backcountry jumps and kickers, it was like making a plan ahead of time, getting like a good visual. So I was like staring at the features, just trying to think like how much speed, what it's gonna look like once you're up in the air. Or like, what's your first turn and then second turn after? You plan the line and you commit to what you're actually planning on doing, you don't hesitate, you're gonna be better off than if you just wing it. Yeah, hesitation is the downfall of man. That's right. Yeah, and for like, when I was dropping in, I like, I wasn't 100% comfortable, but I think like seeing David do it, and then, yeah, just thinking, getting that clean pop, being up in the air, and as long as you land on your feet, yep. there's not too many like things that can go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Dave. Dope, successful yep. day. Was it worth the work? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, Nick. Thanks for getting those shots, man. Dude, you sent it, yeah. Yeah. The clip's so dope, it's worth it. <laughs> the snow is not as soft as it looks. It's like, it might be deep, but it's not soft. Yeah. If it was like soft, I reckon I would have given it another go. But I was like, I'm not gonna risk hurt myself doing that. Nah. <laughs> but it was worth the effort. I mean, this morning was a struggle, but it yeah. was worth it. 
What was the key to the shot? I mean, that silhouette shot, you know, the sun facing down, mm. right the cook going through the sun, the with a lake in the background. I think that's just a perfect shot. We gotta come back here and then you can session it too. Oh, yeah, let's leave the kickers here. For next time. The snow is like nice, like they're gonna be so fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With soft snow? You won't even have to groom them, just like go off them. <laughs> awesome guys, thanks for checking out the video. We're gonna be cruising down. If you haven't yet, check out David's channel as well. Yeah, come over to my videos. He's gonna be posting soon, <laughs> I promise. I'm also doing a camp this summer with High Cascade. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Thanks guys, hope you're having fun out there snowboarding. Catch you in the next video. Oh yeah, subscribe for the Snowboard Pro Camp as well. Hit that Hit. button. Hit it. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!